There you are. We're upstairs on the observation level. What the hell is this thing? It's bad news, that's what it is. Beautiful, isn't it? The scientists called it the Nexus. They thought these bigger specimens acted as conduits for the machine's control signal, broadcasting it to the smaller forms. And that helps us how? Because I think they found the machine by tracking the signal upstream through nerve clusters inside the creature. Well, wait. We need to get inside that thing? Yes! This is such a wonderful opportunity! Wonderful opportunity. The son of a bitch is frozen solid. How do we get in? The scientists used heat exchanges. Let me try to ignite them. No, no good. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac, be careful up there, all right? Yeah, that don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Personal log, Dr. Earl Serrano. The Nexus experiment is... Well, it's incredible. We have discovered two nearly pristine specimens, and crews are working around the clock to uncover them. We're learning so much about how these necromorphs communicated. The whole species seems to have been connected by some telepathic signal from the lowliest foot soldier to the mightiest specimen. But where is the signal coming from? That is what I intend to find out. up with Robert. You know, he's not been himself. Ah, uh, Norton just thinks I'm trouble in a couple of ways. But you need me for the mission, and that's why I'm here. That plus, well, frankly, I hope... Allie, is that Isaac? Great, great. You two having a nice little chat? Look, he just called to say he got the furnace going. He's on his way back now. Isaac, I'll see you soon. Isaac, the heat exchangers are powered up now, but the specimen isn't thawing. Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, I think it's frozen shut. I may be able to work it free by adjusting the pressure in the pipes. Hang on. Whoa! I think that did it! Yes! The internal temperature is rising. And I have more good news. What is it? Come up to the observation booth. I'll explain it all the way. The necromorphs are conduits for the marker's signals. Well, the researchers built a sensor to track that signal upstream to find the machine. So where's the sensor? Probably destroyed. But I did find the blueprints to make a new one. I think I know where this is going. Over here. This is the blueprint I was telling you about. I don't see any of the parts necessary to make this sensor, but there's another research warehouse at the other end of the camp. Here's a schematic. What do you think? they modified a telemetry spike. I have no idea how it works, but yeah, I think I can build it with the right parts. Where's the other warehouse? I'll put the coordinates in your rig. It is most likely to be locked down tight. Here. I found these research pass codes when we arrived. They got us into this warehouse. Maybe they will work for the other buildings as well. Well, we'll find out. Back soon. Geniuses, here's a question. Let's say this stupid experiment works and you find the machine, then what? Do you guys even have a clue about turning it off? Well, Admiral Gray has referred to a codex. She said it was the key to controlling the machine. Yes. I've been able to decrypt several of Dr. Serrano's logs, and he references someone named Rosetta as being instrumental in forging this key. Are you listening to yourselves? You don't know any more about this bullshit than I do. If I can find the parts to make a sensor, we can find the machine. Then we can figure out this codex business. Uh, unbelievable. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100% compliance. Therefore, the military arm of this final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. 
The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tau Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the sovereign colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. Whoa. Uh, hey guys, whatever they were experimenting on here, it looks like it got up and took half the warehouse with it. Oh no! What about the sensor parts? Three pieces, right? Well, it's a long shot, but I'll take a look around. Okay, Santos. I think I've got all the parts for the sensor. Excellent. Do you think you can reconstruct it? I just need to find a bench and call up the blueprint. It shouldn't be too difficult. running away before I can kill it. Oh, God, we can't seem to catch a break. But if the sensor works, we will have the machine's location. If this planet doesn't kill us first. We'll find it. I'll be back soon. Okay, Isaac, I am done fucking around here. Danik has ships. We can take one, get out of here. If you care at all about Ellie, you will do this for her. Haven't you been paying attention? We're the only hope of saving our entire race. There is no hope, Isaac, none. The best we can hope for is to survive and get the hell off this planet! Dick. Norton, can you help us? Wow, gotta be kidding me. I'll save it. I'll go inside. I just need you to lower me down. Yeah, whatever. Get in the cage. So, Santos, how will this work exactly? Use the gun sensor attachment to locate a nerve cluster. It should ping when you're close. And then what? Shoot a probe into it, I suppose. My telemetry should light up and we'll have the location of the machine. Finally, something simple, right? Right. God, Santos, it's moving! Don't worry, it's quite dead. You sure about that? Isaac, are you alright? <sighs> this thing's got one hell of a defense mechanism. Well, did it work? No. The signal is just a trickle. I can't get a fix on any specific location. All right. I'm gonna find another nerve cluster. Yes, good idea. That should boost the signal. Shit, again. All right. Come on. Come and get me. Is everything okay? Yeah. Look, I want to get out of here. How's the signal? Definitely stronger, but... One more? One more. Isaac, it worked! It worked! I got the fix on the machine's location! Santos, not now! That better be the last one. Santos, please tell me you got what you needed. Yes, thank you. It will take me a moment to fix through the data. Fine. I'm gonna head back to the cage. Santos, we have a fix on the machine? Yes. There are thousands of signals, all concentrated far below the planet's surface. That has to be it. There's an entrance further up the mountain beneath the second dig site. Further up the mountain? They're sheer cliffs. Well, I saw some climbing gear stored below. Santos and I will start setting up the base of the cliff. Norton, can you make sure Isaac gets out safely? Sure. Sure, I'll take care of him. And Ellie. Yeah? I love you. You know that, right? 
What? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Isaac, meet us at the cliff. Got it. Norton, open the cage. No. What? If you want to die here, now's your chance. I'm taking control of this mission again. Hey, where are you going? Saving Ellie. Norton! 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 Ellie, can you hear me? Damn it. He jammed my signal. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the trouble you saved me. Nice work. What? Well, here he is. The marker killer, Isaac Clark. And here we are. The marker homeworld. You know, I must admit, I almost didn't believe such a place existed. But thanks to your friend, Norton, I finally found it. That's how they followed us through shock space. Well, oh, he is a bright one. All, all he wants is Isaac. Carver, the rest of us can go home. Deluded son of a bitch. Hey! You've got me. Let the others go. It's a very difficult thing, you know, undoing the damage man has done. Everything we touch, we contaminate, we corrupt. The Markers had a plan for us, but we took what should have been a magnificent gift and perverted it. Jesus, spare us the bullshit. <laughs> I've spent an entire lifetime trying to undo the damage man has done. Fighting EarthGov's ongoing research, liberating the Markers from those profane testing facilities. And now... I just have one problem left to purge. All of you. No, 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 no! No, you promised me a ship, Danik. We had a deal. Yes, I'm sorry about that. But I can't afford to leave even one of you left alive. Apologies for misleading you, Captain. <laughs> Shooting at us and whatever the fuck that was, what chance have we got? You betrayed no, us! I tried to save us. You are the real problem here, Clark, but not anymore. Captain! Stand down, Sergeant! This is all your fucking fault. She doesn't love you! Stay dead forever, not around here. What am I gonna tell Ellie? Hey, you tell her the truth. Now let's go.
Isaac. Where's Robert? Is he? I shot him, Ellie. What? I'm sorry. I had no choice. Norton betrayed us, Ellie. He was ready to kill us. Isaac did what he had to do to save the mission. I... Oh, come on! We gotta keep moving. <laughs> now there are only four of us left. I can't do this! Then we leave you behind. If you can't keep your head, you're a danger to everybody. Nobody's leaving anybody. Now, oh, come on. Let's get to the top of this mountain. Together. Together. We're gonna start an avalanche if we all try to climb this. What do we do? I'll climb up first and have a look around. Maybe there's a safer route. Ellie, come on. Norton was pointing a gun at my face. I'm sorry. Is that supposed to make it okay? You never believed in me, or this mission, or us. I had to go find someone else to help me, and now he's dead. He sabotaged it, just like everything else. What's that supposed to mean? Is that what you really think? Yes. They brought you here at gunpoint. I guess that's what it took. I'm not here because someone put a gun to my head. Yeah, well, Norton's dead because someone put one to his. Guys, I found a cargo cage, but it's wedged into the cliff. I'll try to free it and send it down. Ellie, you hear me? We see it. Come on, Ellie. The cage is on its way now. Ellie, can you see it? Ellie! Oh, God! Look out! That's us! Get behind me! Ah, shit! Try to drive it away! Ellie! Ellie! Isaac, we're okay. We drove it off. Oh, thank God. Look, about Robert. I just don't understand why he would try to kill you. He blamed me for all the trouble we're in. He kept pushing to go home. I kept pushing to stay. But the mission is all that matters. I thought Robert understood that. I'm here for you. I mean that. Okay, I found another lift point. Still no witch. You guys all right? So far, we're just at the cage. It's infested pretty bad up here. I hope I find a winch soon. Isaac, just be careful. I don't need to lose both you and Robert in the same day. Thanks, Ellie. I found the winch. I'm gonna start it up. Hang on to something. Wait! I don't like this. Just talk to me. And don't look down. What's our next step? Well, we now know that in order to turn off the machine, we'll need some sort of key. The researchers called it the Codex. Okay. So where is it? We have to make one. And how do we do that? The same way they did 200 years ago. With Rosetta's research. Oh, my God! Take it easy. Take it easy. Just blown a fuse. Maybe I can divert power from the lights. So, tell me about this, Rosetta. Well, we don't know much. Just that the Codex was made from her research. Where will we find it? In the facility at the top of this mountain. Great. See? We're almost done. That wasn't so bad. Not bad? I was crying the whole way. Just get me some solid ground under my- <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Help me! Isaac! Ah! Carver, give me a hand. Ah! Ah! Too heavy. No, no, I got it. Help! You gotta take me, please! <laughs> Take the whole cliff face down and us with no, it. I can reach her. Just hang on to the winch. Santos! Ah! Give me your head! Isaac, it's too late for that! Ah! Take it! Ah! 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 
God damn it! I had her! It was gonna take us all down with it! Isaac, the cliff's falling apart! Come on, damn it! Give me your hand! I promised her! I could have reached her, but just had another step in! down you couldn't have saved her can you get back up here yeah i think there's a way up around the side She must have a lab up there someplace. We should look for an office or a set of files, anything with her name on it. We can take that to the entrance. Come on. Looks like Danica's had time to regroup. Damn it. How do we find Rosetta if she's been dead for 200 years? Wait a minute. There. Rosetta lab. It's here. Perfect. Send me the coordinates. And let's hope Danica doesn't find us before we can build this codex. Wow, so this is Rosetta's lab, huh? Oh, finally. And this is an assembly station, according to the controls. So we're here to assemble a codex. That makes sense. Uh, no. According to this, we're here to assemble Rosetta. They cut her into pieces? Oh my god. Fuck this day. They sliced her up. Why? I don't know. But some of the pieces are already in the assembly. I think I see another piece over there. Well, there should be a receptacle that feeds that into the lab's cataloging system. Yep, over there. Great. Okay, I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. Hold on. So, according to the records, there are four more pieces. They were checked out of storage by Dr. Serrano. Well, there are three buildings in the facility, so if there are more pieces, they're either in one 
Or all of them. Most of the doors were locked down from what I could see. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Look what I found, a security pass. You want to give it a shot? Hey, why not? Great, thanks. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta will create a codex. I'll explore the labs and recover the rest of the Rosetta slabs. It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology and one for geological studies. Which one should I check out first? Doesn't matter. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. I know. Isaac out. Dr. Earl Serrano, status update. I now realize why the alien machine was rejecting our codex. The instructions were being garbled by the second set of DNA. The aberration. We found a new specimen today. A pure and intact specimen. Its DNA is completely pristine. And I have high hopes that this is the breakthrough we were looking for. I found another piece of Rosetta. I'm sending it your way. Which, um, which piece is it? It's hard to tell from the cross-section, but it doesn't look like anything I recognize. Okay, I'll get it prepped when it arrives. Testing. Testing. Hello, Isaac. I know you're out there. Crawling around. <laughs> you probably think I'm an overzealous crusader. I'm mindlessly following the whim of an angry god. It's an easy conclusion to draw, and I don't fault you for it, but you may be surprised to know that I'm a man of science. A man of fact and reason, cause and effect. And soon, you'll understand that I'm right about everything. Okay, Ellie. Another one coming your way. Isaac, these slices, are you sure this is Rosetta? Only one way to find out. Let's keep going. A little trivia, Isaac, to put things in perspective. Fact. The original marker, the black marker found on Earth, predates the rise of mankind. Are you listening to this? Fact. The marker exerts a field of influence that guides and grows biological organisms, evolving them over time towards some greater purpose. Dr. Earl Serrano. Status update. It appears that all the specimens share some common features that are quite surprising. You, along with what I presume are swim bladders and collapsible fins, this is quite improbable for a frozen wasteland. Unless it was not always frozen. I now believe this planet was once a vast liquid ocean and that a single sudden event caused a flash breeze trapping everything in the ice. Heads up, Ellie. Ah. See it. Fact. Isaac, as you can personally attest, man is naturally compelled to create red markers, duplicates made in the image of the original. They are as much a part of us as the planet that birthed us, perhaps even more so. We must all act our part in the natural evolution of the universe, Isaac. <laughs> Something you seem rather reluctant to accept. Are you headed back now? Yep. Be there soon. Ellie, how do we know this is even gonna work? Did you find out how they make a codex from all this? Yeah. It looks like they use magnetomic forensic neurology, which produces a data stream stored in the codex. It's like they lifted the codes of the machine right out of her brain. Well, that sounds familiar. At least they didn't poke her eye out. I'll be there soon. Isaac, one final fact for you to ponder. <laughs> as you recklessly pursue your own destruction. Were it not for the tampering of Earth, Garble, these long dead researchers, or you, humanity would have painlessly transcended to our ultimate end, our predestined rebirth. Now, what purpose does all this conversation hope to serve? Well, the next time we see each other, and I shoot you in the face, <laughs> All right, let's hope we can figure this thing out before Danik finds us. So, leg bones connected to, the, well, you know, whatever the hell that is. Uh. 
Assembly complete. Codex initialization standing by. Let's see what we got. Well, here she is. Meet Rosetta. Where's her face? She doesn't have a face. It's not even a she. It's an it. Rosetta's an alien. What? What does that mean? It means they used an alien brain to unlock the secrets of the alien machine. It's clever. All right, let's see what happens when we activate it. This could get a little weird. Fingers crossed. got it all wrong. This isn't the Marker homeworld. The aliens, they, they found the Markers just like us and it spread. It consumed them. It, it pulled their bodies into the sky to form the final stage. Oh my god, the The moon is the source of the marker signal, not the machine. The moon is convergence. The aliens, they... They built the machine to freeze the planet. To keep the moon from becoming whole. If the machine shuts down, everything thaws. And convergence has resumed, not just here, but... Everywhere the markers have spread. And this is... Is the key. Turning it all off. Thank you for doing all the heavy lifting. No! It will home in on us, Marcus, and hunt us down. You don't understand oh, what you're doing. Oh, I misunderstood doing. initially. That's true, but it's all quite clear to me now. It's not only mankind's tampering which has hindered our glorious rebirth, but this alien machine as well. Stay away from that machine, Danik. No. And now that I have this, I'll be able to turn it off. The natives of this planet chose death over evolution. Now I'll make sure humanity doesn't make the same mistake. We will all of us be made whole. Well, come on, kill them. Hey! Back 
gas is still coming. We gotta go, now! She's all I got. This was her mission. She knew better than anyone how important it was. Now we've gotta finish this for her! Got it? Do you got it? Yeah. Then let's go! Isaac, now! I... I left her. Ellie... Isaac... Hey... Keep it together. Come on, man. Don't fall apart on me. Danik is headed down to that machine. We can't let him shut it down. Then we're gonna make sure he never gets there. You All got right. that? All right. Hey. Hey. It looks like Danik unlocked access to all floors. Where'd he go? I don't know. Where'd he go? I don't know! Jesus. Oh. Bitch. Okay. All right. We're gonna split up. You take floor one, I'll take floor two. Okay. All right. All right, just hey. Keep your head, man. I can't do this without you. All right. Isaac, I know where Danik is going. To get to the machine, he's got to go underground, and there's only one way down, the big silo north of here. Okay, I'm updating my locator. I'll meet you there. Down? I'll head down on these cables. Just get the elevator working to meet me down there. I'm not an engineer. Try pressing the damn button. Calibrating payload. Stand by. Transport will resume momentarily. All hands, stand I clear. Whoa. Resume Hell. operations. Getting yourself killed is not going to fix this. Norton was right about one thing. This is a one-way trip. And if I'm going to die on this ice ball, I'm taking Danik with me. Turn it off. We thought it was the answer, but we were deceived. The moon is the source of the signal, the madness. Make us whole. Turn it off. These are its cries for help, its call to action. And we are the fools who listen. But how will they reach us? We can open the ventilation systems from in here. We're a part of the dropships. Do it now! You all right? Carver, he's here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'm trying. Find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see? The natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon. It was meant to destroy it. You'll need the codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine can crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. 
But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. Zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know, just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! Isaac, there he is! Danik! Shoot them!
This isn't a city, Carver. All oh, this... this is the machine. Holy hell. Uh, okay, uh, you're the engineer. How do we fix it? We'll follow Serrano's clues and reconfigure the machine. I just opened a conduit to the heart of the city. If there's a control center for the Codex, that's where it'll be. Meet me there. If you've made it this far, you are now deep in the heart of the machine. From here, there appear to be two primary configuration points. One to the west, that you have no doubt already activated, and another to the north. If they can be properly composed, well, to be honest, I don't exactly know what will happen. The only advice I can offer is this. Be observant. The clues are out there. The invasive growth in this area has made it difficult to make much progress. Dig teams continue to get caught in the ancient, sticky webbing. There is no doubt in my mind that the devices above are essential to the configuration of this alien machine. Based on my observations of the alien script, it could be a sort of amplifier made to boost the signal or power source when properly aligned. Terminal. We're getting closer to fixing this machine, Carver. Isaac, what are you doing? Finishing something that should have been done a long time ago. Well, stop it! You're tampering with things you know nothing about. Right back at you, jackass. Well, you've successfully turned the city into a giant pretzel. Now what? If Serrano's right, I should be able to return to the first activation point to enter the final setting. What happens then? Hey, I work on spaceships, Not you? alien machines, right. This isn't the way, Isaac. There is a future for you, for all of us. Leave me alone, Danik. You can see them again, Isaac. Everyone you've lost along the way. It's a future with no regrets. I have no regrets, Danik. One way or another, this will all be over soon. Isaac! Machine. Ellie? Isaac! You're alive! But how did you. I, I escaped those delivery tubes, but they caught me. Isaac, they're gonna call you up in the. Ah! Let go of me! Shut up, heretic! Ah! Uh, I have the codex, Danik. If you want it, you have to find me. Right? No, I won't. You're heading to the machine. And when you get there, I'll be waiting. Okay, now what? Three receptacles, three statues, three markings. What's the final step? <laughs> All right, Carver. Another door just opened up. We gotta be close to the control center for the Codex. We've done everything else Serrano said to do. I'm heading in. busted my knee open. I suppose the Codex is in Mahad's hand by now, and this place is about to be buried, like everywhere else. <laughs> I remember telling my college professor I wanted to study Xenoarchaeology. He laughed right in my face. There's nothing to study, he said. It's all dead space. No alien life exists out in the universe. In a way, I guess he was right. There is no life beyond our system. Only a trail of extinction wrought by the moon. And now, it's right on our doorstep. Well, above us lies the means of turning off the machine, but also the means to complete it. Turning it off will finish our species. Completing it will save us. 
I had hoped to be here to witness the saving part. It would have been spectacular to witness the moon getting pulled into the planet and crushed to oblivion. A final act by the natives. A sacrifice to save us all. But now, I must rest. Perhaps Tim will be along soon with the Codex. Alex! Isaac, don't do it! Don't listen to him! Give me the Codex and you can have her back. No! Isaac, you know what's at stake. Okay, everybody calm down, okay? Danik, give me the Codex! Or I will kill her! No! Isaac, what are you doing? You, you got a second chance. If he turns off the machine, we're all dead. Her? Us? Everyone. Don't let it all go dark, Isaac. There's more than one kind of right. No! Go back to Earth space. Tell them what we found. I'm staying. That's all I got left. You can't stop her, Carver. Not without me. I'm the marker killer, remember? Isaac. I turned my back on the world because I was afraid of what needed to be done. Ellie, I'm not afraid anymore. There's a shuttle over there. I want you to take it and head for home. for me. We both know I'm not going home. Go!
this is it, huh? We use that codex. Yeah. No more bullshit. You die here, now. But Earth... gets it tomorrow. Isaac? Isaac? Are you there? Carver? Isaac? You're gone, aren't you? The mark signal. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by.
Ali. Ali. 